What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Welcome back to another news roundup. So to kick us off is that Nintendo has announced yet another new playable character for Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. That character being Toon Link, which goes hand in hand with the recent release of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So Toon Link will be making his return from Brawl, and in that game he was kind of a clone. There was some stuff that distinguished him from the regular Link, but maybe they'll flesh him out further in these games to make him feel not so clonesy. There is a screenshot of him using The Wind Waker, which could be a new move for him, or it could just be a taunt. But considering they announced the return of Toon Link around the release of The Wind Waker HD, maybe they'll announce the return of Sonic the Hedgehog around the release of Sonic Lost World next month. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now turning the tables here, to a more dark and dreary game is that Warner Bros. has announced a season pass for Batman Arkham Origins and apparently it's coming to the Wii U. The season pass will include 5 packs of DLC with most of them actually being skins but it will be available for $20. Now if you actually buy all of this DLC individually it actually comes to a $30 value so you're basically getting $10 off if you go to the season pass route. As for what you actually get in the season pass, well you get the new Millennium Skins Pack, the Infinite Earth Skins Pack, the exclusive Gotham by Gaslight Batman Skin, the exclusive Bright as Day Batman Skin, and more noteworthy is the Initiation Challenge Maps, where you actually get to play as Bruce Wayne before he comes Batman. And finally, there will be an all-new story campaign. So apparently the Season Pass is coming to the Wii U, it would actually be the system's first Season Pass, but I wouldn't really be interested in getting all the different skins, I'd be more interested in just getting that all-new story campaign. And in other news, that there's more hope of Monster Hunter 4 getting localized outside of Japan or just any Monster Hunter game, because the official Facebook page for Monster Hunter made a post about how they've been hearing people ask them to bring Monster Hunter 4 to the West, and they stated that they're continuing to evaluate new Monster Hunter games for the West. So I guess that is as good of an answer we're going to be getting for now, at least Capcom is thinking about bringing more Monster Hunter games outside of Japan. Maybe Monster Hunter 4 is on their mind as one of the potential releases for a localization. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, but you can just keep telling Capcom you want to see it happen. Now recently in one of my past news videos I stated that Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games was going to be releasing on November 8th. Well apparently that was incorrect. Nintendo has come out and stated that that was an error, and I guess it's not releasing on November 8th. So now we're back to not having a specific release date. But maybe it will be bumped back to a later date in November, or maybe even December. <laughs> And finally, at so the Kickstarter project, Mighty Number no. 9 continues to rake in the money. The Kickstarter is almost over, but they have managed to reach yet another stretch goal. This one being $2,550,000. So now they'll be adding in a new end stage plus a boss. So that means more content, so that's good. But that will bring us to the end of the news. If you like yourself, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. As always, you can also stay tuned for more news videos and reviews and that's Nintendo Crazy episodes. You can also check out the GamingPixelShow.com to follow along for some more Nintendo 3DS and Wii U news. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!